You only go through high school once, and once it's over, it's done. Now, in my high school, we have these things called exams. If it's an SOL class and you pass the SOL, you don't have to take the exam. Not a SOL class, then it goes by how many unexcused and excused absences you have. Two tardies equals one absence. If you gotta take that exam, <laughs> you're gonna be screwed, especially if you didn't do so well during the year. Don't come up in there with a bag of McDonald's for your first block teacher and she look at you or he look at you and they be like, and don't actually heat up your food because they're gonna look at you like go to class especially if it's an sol class or um a class where you have a lot of testing friends with your teacher now this may sound weird but most teachers aren't as stuck up as you think they are let's say that you took a test and you didn't get such a great grade on it if you're cool with that teacher and you negotiate with them they might be like i will let you retake this test but the highest grade you can get is a 70. And that's better than the 30 you might have got the first time you know and if you're trying like your hardest they will be willing to work with my third tip for my freshman to aim for the top the most important years in high school is your freshman year and your junior year that don't mean slack your sophomore and your senior year don't do that freshman year really go hard at it and really try to make like the best grades that you can get because your freshman year will be like the basis for your gpa throughout your high school you know do that i necessarily aim for a rank but aim to keep like a certain grade aver average in your class. See, I need to take this tip for myself because I, <laughs> ah, I am such an introvert. Make memories with your friends. If you make some friends, meet some new people, talk to you know people higher than you, talk to people lower than you. Like people around my hometown say they're ready to get out of high school. Once you go through high school, you're gonna miss it. Just don't take it for granted, okay? Choose your friends wisely. When you're in middle school with you're not gonna be in friends with high school where you're gonna find out who your true friends are. Don't take that wrong because that is definitely true. Cause in high school it's a water age group. You're not gonna have classes with, you know, the people that you've been having classes with you're gonna have classes with upperclassmen and you might even have a few classes with lower classmen it is really true that the people that you surround yourself with is really the person that you're going to become if you surround yourself with people who slack around in class and who joke around and don't get their work done you're going to become that person if you surround yourself with people who are working hard getting their stuff done and they're being motivated and you know that kind of thing that's the kind of person you'll become i have seen so many people start off their freshman year hanging with people who have bad intentions and who are bad influences and I've seen them fall I've I've really seen them fall I've really seen them fail but some things might have slipped up and they started hanging around and that's not a different brand of people but they started talking to people who are more motivated into their work and who care about their education and I've seen them not necessarily skyrocket but I've their energy feeds off of you if you hang around negative people you're gonna have negative energy if you're not doing your work and they're not motivating you to do your work just t throw the whole friend in the trash <laughs> some people are only friends with you because you have classes which is pretty nasty in my high school lunch was definitely nasty my freshman year pack your lunch like i'm so serious like don't be like me my freshman year and like don't eat lunch beg your parents to like like a sandwich or and, like a sandwich or some chips so don't skip out on breakfast like i understand some people like me like you don't have an appetite when you first wake up even if you don't take some snacks with you not unhealthy snacks take some like a granola bar or something with you that give you a little bit of energy if you see something like on your schedule and you know that you can get a better class for it go talk to your guidance counselors go to the office and go see what you can do they wait to your junior year to try to fix something or they wait to their junior year to try to get into the um advanced diploma or they wait into their junior year to try to get their associate's degree like don't wait that you you have a mindset and you know that you're determined to get your advanced diploma or you're determined to get your associate's degree in high school go to guidance Talk to your guidance counselor about it and get it done. You need to get that situated your freshman year. If you know that you're not the best in math and you're taking geometry your freshman year, how to learn geometry like on your own in your class for four and a half weeks. And if you know that you're struggling right then in the beginning and you know that you're having a hard time with it, talk to your teacher about going to tutorial, getting a tutor or whatever. Please fits a class you have to take a EOC or a SOL in at the end of the year. Definitely don't wait till the end of the year to get help in that subject do it in the beginning do it now as you learn the material from your teachers if your friend is obese in this subject 
ask your friend, you know, hey, can you come over on this and this and day, or can I come over so you can help me study? Try to get your friends to explain it to you. Try to get your teacher to explain it to you one more time if you don't get it. Definitely try to get extra help from your sometimes from your parents, because like your parents may know like not necessarily the old school way, but your parents, if it's something you know like math, they might have a different technique. If you don't get it, ask your teacher to explain it one more time. Just because your friends are doing it, don't mean that you should do it. Cause in high school, you're gonna be exposed to things that you never thought you would. If your friends are trying to put you in a situation that they know you don't want to be in, they're not your friends. Cut them off because they're toxic, okay? If your friends like, oh, we're gonna go blow this gas, you wanna come and you like, nah, I don't, I'm, I'm not dealing with that. And they're like, come on, it'd be this, this, and this. Right there, say no. Like, cause when you say no, that's it. There is no negotiating when you say no. Even if you gotta call your parents. Like, honestly, my mom told me one thing. She said, if you in a bad situation, and you know you in a bad situation and you want to leave, call me and I'll come get you and I won't ask no questions. And honestly, some parents might be like that and some parents aren't like that. But honestly, your parents are down for you through whatever you go through. Don't fall for the pressure. Don't crack under the pressure. Tip in high school, when people ask for your pencils, okay, but like, do you have a pencil? And you get these. Let me, let me get them and show them to you. And like when people ask you to borrow a pencil, you pull out these. You don't pull out your good mechanical pencils that they're probably not even gonna give you back. Because honestly, no nobody got time to be paying seven, eight, nine, ten dollars for three to five mechanical pencils and they good quality. You don't wanna know how many packs of paper I went through in my trade class alone. Two, three packs of paper. You could do one problem and it would take up the whole paper. Keep a lot of paper on you because you'll definitely need it. And with that being said, that is it for this video. And if you'd like to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and definitely follow me on all my social medias. Go ahead and subscribe. I love y'all. Peace out, gang gang. Y'all my family. So I'm some kiki. Do you love me? Are you right? Okay, I'm done. Sorry. <laughs> now I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Toos.